So now we're going to make Dharma's kale salad, which is my absolute favorite salad in the entire world. I've been making it for years. I eat it for dinner as, or as part of my dinner a couple times a week. I make it for all my clients. And it's one of the best ways to get this amazing beauty vegetable, kale, raw into your diet. Kale is full of minerals, it's full of vitamins, it's full of vitamin C, chlorophyll, fiber, all these different enzymes and phytonutrients. It's absolutely amazing. And to have it in the salad, again, in this raw form, is one of the best ways to bring it into your diet on a regular basis. So I peeled a lot of the kale already, but I want to show you my technique. I don't like to chop the kale, I like to take it off the stems with my fingers. So you can basically just peel it off like this, it doesn't take very long. Um, and what I do is I save the stems, I either add them into my glowing green juice or my glowing green smoothie because there is a good amount of nutrition in the stems as well. So that way you're using the entire leaf. So I'm just taking a bit more off here. This is one head of kale that I'm using today in my salad. And depending on how much of um, your dinner the salad is going to be, this could work for one or maybe two people or maybe more, but really you should be eating a lot of that kale. So probably one or two people per head is what I estimate. So I have the stems to the side and what I do is I take a little bit of high quality sea salt. I'm loving this um, pink Himalayan salt right now. Just a tiny, tiny bit and I sprinkle it throughout. And what that does is it helps to tenderize the kale. I get in there with my really clean hands and I start to break down the kale. So you're just tearing it into little pieces. Um, this makes it easier to digest smaller pieces of kale. And it also, like I said, it tenderizes it. It's a really, really dense, thick green. So it needs to be tenderized a little bit to make a nice, tasty salad. So this whole process just takes a couple minutes. Um, I think it's really nice as well just to really be in touch with what you're making and to feel what you're making. So to me this salad has been just, it's, it was shared in um, one of the first yoga studios I went to in New York. It's been passed down from students to students and it's something that I may have made with my family, I make with my friends. It's just a wonderful way to share this um, amazing, amazing vegetable, the kale. So you can break it down. Um, you don't want any large pieces. Again, you want it to be pretty easy to digest and to chew. Most of us don't chew enough already. So just break it down into small pieces. Okay, great. So now I'm just gonna have my hands. <laughs> and now we're gonna add the rest of the salad. Sprouts, very, very important to our Beauty Detox program. Full of enzymes. Um, just really full of amino acids and easily digestible nutrients. These are alfalfa sprouts. Uh, my favorite are also sunflower sprouts and clover sprouts. So whatever you can find at the store, you can mix and match. Um, I like to separate them as I'm throwing them into the mix. And then I'm adding one cup of chopped um, tomato, which is fresh and beautiful. You can't find nice looking fresh tomatoes at the store. You can always use sun-dried tomatoes as well. And I'm going to put in one diced fairly, um, fairly into fairly large pieces avocado, which is going to serve as the fat for our salad. And when we do our final mix, I'm actually going to push the avocado down so it spreads almost like a thick dressing. So we don't even need to add any oil to the dressing at all. The avocado is going to spread throughout. Now I'm going to add about three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Sometimes I say half a lemon or a full lemon, but sometimes um, there could be a lot of lemon juice. So about three tablespoons is probably right. Now I'm going to put in a couple shakes of cayenne pepper. And cayenne pepper is wonderful for, it's a warming spice. It helps to break up mucus in the body and it just helps to get your metabolism going. It was nice to add a little bit of cayenne pepper to your salad, as much as you can handle, not too spicy of course. Now this is dulse, and this may or may not be optional for you. Some people really don't like the taste of sea vegetables. I love them. I think that um, if you like them, you can just add a couple tablespoons in. This is because we're not adding any type of salty um, seasoning to our dressing. It, it's low in sodium, 
but high in minerals. So it gives that sort of salty taste and it's really, really packed with minerals. Um, so it's really fantastic to add dulse flakes if you like sea vegetables. And now this is optional as well. I like, um, I like to add hemp seeds into my salad. This adds again more um, healthy fat, more minerals, some extra protein. It's absolutely, I find hemp seeds absolutely delicious. So I sprinkle that in about three to five tablespoons of each, the dulse and the hemp seeds. And finally, which I also eyeball, but this could be three to five tablespoons as well, is nutritional yeast. And this is the brand that I love. It's called Cal, K-A-L. And nutritional yeast comes out bright yellow. And what this adds is that nice cheesy flavor to your salad. And what it also adds is the spectrum of B vitamins. Um, it's complete protein, all the different amino acids. So it's completely nutritious. And I sprinkle it in there as well, kind of eyeball it. And over time, you'll get used to how much you like. You can add a little bit more if you want your salad really thick or a little bit less if you don't want it to be as cheesy. So that's everything. I toss it all in there to at the same time and I just go in there with my salad mixer. You can see the colors are beautiful. There's red, there's the dark green. You know just by looking at it that this salad is so amazing for you. It's almost like what the gorillas would eat, the thick, dark, um, the thick, leafy, waxy kale. It just seems so strong and powerful. And the other great thing about this salad is that because the kale is so thick, this salad can keep for leftovers for a day or so. Um, so you can make a lot for dinner and you can pack it for lunch the next day, or you can pack it for um, your spouse or your, your child or your friend or whoever you want, it, want to pack it for, um, or you can keep it for yourself. But it, uh, it really holds up, so it can stay in the fridge for a little bit longer, which is why I love it as well. I often do have it for lunch the next day. So you can see I've tossed everything throughout Again, you can play with, the, play with it a little bit. You can add a little bit more yeast, or you can leave out the dulse, or add a little bit, um, a little bit more, a little bit, uh, a little bit less. If you find that you want it to be a bit richer, you can add a little drop of olive oil to it. I usually leave the olive oil out of the salad because, as, you, as I mentioned earlier, I pressed the avocado in, so the avocado sort of starts to go throughout the salad and acts as the fat source. So you can see this beautiful salad. It's super easy to make. It's Dharma's Kale Salad. I highly recommend trying it for yourself.